Okay, so he'll give you instructions on how to get in. Okay, we're at Oshkosh. Air Venture, we're gonna try a demo flight in the Cavalon. So how long have you had yours? Oh, a year. And where do you live? Idaho Falls. Oh, that's right, Idaho Falls. We're talking about Idaho Falls. Yep. And I got the cab on because it's cold and windy there. Yeah, it's uh, windy and, and I, I tell people it's winter nine months out of the year in Idaho. How's it, how's it doing the wind? Better. The more the wind, the better. Because it makes the rotor. Spin faster? Yeah. Pretty stable in turbulence? Uh, in Okay, that's the number one word that comes out of people's mouths when they come out, they get out, because that was very smooth. So, which one did you buy, this model? Exact same model, yeah. Did you look at other ones? <laughs> yes, yeah. And, and yeah, I looked at all of them. Yeah. Why did you pick this one? I like the company, I like the quality. We've got a whole network across the United States, so. Uh, what else do you fly, or is this the only thing you fly? This is the only thing. I was training for fixed wing, because I, I, I couldn't find something I really liked. And then I went up in this, and I called up my instructor and said, sorry, we're done, I'm flying a gyro. He said, what's a gyro? So you get a Rotorcraft auto gyro rating, is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm not back, you know, you have the keys to the Premier. So we're going to push it across the road and then we'll have you board on the other side. It's perfect. And I put the seat back. Maybe your son told you to put the seat back. Good. So. Thank you. Is that hard? You oh. just take the bolts two, out two and slay? Yeah. Oh, unscrew them or is it pinned or what? No, just unscrew them. So it's right here actually. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You just take an Allen wrench or whatever yep. it is. And... Yep. That looks pretty simple. Get more leg room. Yeah, because when we set them before, it was like, but if they would have designed it just a little bit higher, yeah. it would have been better. Yeah. Just in here, right? I know it's hard here, but they move this just an inch, just an inch right. higher radius yeah. in there. But you'll see the, you'll feel, feel the difference. Oops, sorry. Sorry. I'm rich. Hi, Rich. I'm not as rich. I know. I wish I was. <laughs> At least then I have the name, I have the hope. Okay, so just walk with that Okay. Okay, watch for As long as you push a non-movable surfaces, yeah. you're fine. Yeah, we usually put kind of the... So what's that, for stability, that little thing there where it says no step? Mostly for noise. Oh, that is? Yeah. It's just vibration control or something? It cuts the, the prop watch. Oh, I see, I see. 
So that's, I assume, the radiator down there? Uh-huh, it's uh, liquid-cooled. So that takes care of the prop wash, the platform there on the, beam, on the whatever you call it, tail boom. Okay, so he'll give you instructions on how to get in. Okay, we're at Oshkosh. The Air Venture, we're gonna try a demo flight in the Catalan. All right. We, get, we moved the seat back so it fits Tigre and I, which is great. Thanks, Dave, for doing that. All right, anything I can hold on to not hold on? Can I hold on to here? Hold on to your sanity and... Hold on there too, okay, all right. Head goes in last. Yeah, head goes in last, Dad. I know, but for me, the reason I did that is because my knees, I need just a little bit more support than to put my knee up there, that's why. How you have to do it. Okay. I didn't hit my head. There you go. It goes together and then we'll tighten that up. If anything happens, T Gray's got the key to the jet so he can fly the kids home. Perfect. Okay? So, um, you know how to get the seatbelt off, that's no problem. Yes, because so seatbelt's here. Door, you just push this out of this notch and pull it back about halfway. The door All right. Open. Okay. So, otherwise, it's spring loaded otherwise, in this way. Long. That's the same thing we have in the gliders, the window. Okay? Pull it shut. All right. Is it this head headset right here? Is it hey, way for me? Okay. For you. All right. So we're in the plane. Awesome. So on this one. All right. So. Oh yeah, Dave Clark. Yep, got that. So in here, so this is for the. Is that for the rotor? This is the wheel brake. The wheel brake. Okay. Yeah, this is the throttle. All right. This is the parking brake set. Oh, so when you break this, so if you I pull break, here, and then that... It takes the wheel brake off. Okay. So here's you, the brakes. So if I set the parking brake... That brakes, engages with that pawl there, that gear, and you now have it locked. Exactly Does right. that make and sense? And this is cabin heat. Okay. And then back here you have heated seats. Oh, nice, heated seats. Which we don't need right now. Right. And uh, pneumatic lumbar support. Wow. Yeah. We don't have pneumatic lumbar support in the jets. Or heated seats. All right, just let that keep recording and I'll record the audio. Okay. Fun, Thank you. Okay, throttles idle. Brake. Okay. Throttles are idle. The fuel valve is open. He's on. Everything else is off. Lane A and B are the two channels of the electronic ignition. That's correct. Okay. And then we are going to check the fuel pump. And it is working. Okay. Nabs and strobes are on. Lane A and B are on. All the lights come on and we'll turn. We'll wait for the lane A and B to turn off. Wait for the fuel pressure light and the clutch light to turn off. Wait for our avionics to come up. So you got the G3X? Yeah. Garmin G3X. And now it's ready for us to start as soon as these, this one turns off. After the clutch turns off. So what is it waiting for in the clutch? There's a computer that's booting up. It's a, there's These are all um, digital signals that are coming out from the engine. So it's doing all of its bit tests, as we call it, so yeah, to checking all the systems, it's right? It's getting everything turned on. Okay, throttle set where we want it and key. Nice easy start. Can't feel pump two coming on. I'm gonna leave my door open for now. Roger that. That sounds fine. Yeah. And the volume sound is okay for you? Yeah, volume's fine. Yep. Wait for the brake. And here we go. That was my first experience in a gyro Yeah, mine too. 30, 30 hours in a helicopter. <laughs> well, that's right, because between us, at least we know we figured out how to start it. <laughs> I'm glad you brought a key, or found a key. Yeah. I keep that one with me all the time. Roger that. We're taxiing now. Okay, we're going to switch to tower frequency. We're going to take off on the runway Whee. and then land on the grass. All right, looking to the left for traffic. Looks all right. Looks good. As we come up here onto the taxiway, we'll get the doors closed. All right. Got the doors closed. Ventilation open. Got three Lima Romeo. Do you need uh, 30 seconds on the runway? Hey, firm. Certainly, Marlby, runway 36 left, line of the way, advise ready to go. We'll advise. 
So that is for the main rotor. Is that the main rotor? Yeah, put it in flight, flight mode. Brake means it just keeps stationary, right? Yeah, brake it means it's gonna doesn't want to turn. There we go. The rotor's starting to turn. So it's pre-spinning by your throttle, right? Uh, I got my button pressed oh, right here. Oh, and that does it. Oh, oh, I you could for uh, take a runway three six left twenty right. Left hand, we're taking off. We got oh, cool. Road is already at 220. We're so waiting for it to come up a little bit and then add throttle. Rotating. There's their adventure. Incredible view. I agree with the helicopter. You ready for a turn? Absolutely. Let's go. I'm ready when you are, sir. There we go. Get about 45 degrees to turn. Vibration similar to some of the light helicopters, a little bit more. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a really vibration. light uh, rotor system, so you can get a little bit extra vibration sometimes. The faster you're going, the more vibration you get also. And we're not going super slow, but we're not going super fast either. What do you typically cruise at? Um, we're going to, if about 30, if I'm going fast, I go about 35 inches. And then I pull the, the prop down to about... 4,800 or 52, somewhere between 4,852. RPM. Right? Yeah. So now when you're doing that... It's just adjusting the, it's a controllable pitch prop. So that's where you're adjusting. Your manifold pressure is around 33. Yeah, so... We're now burning... At five and a half gallon an hour. Okay. So I now 6.3 right now, actually. And we're going just a little bit over 80 knots. So in terms of airspeed, that's about the airspeed you typically get? And it depends on how heavy you are. And we're actually going to pick up a little bit as we try to level out. So we'll probably be going close to, you know, just right, right close to 80 and level like this. And, you know, get it trimmed. You can see it doesn't shake the stick a lot. Right. And your trim is all done by setting. Oh, so that just does the trim. So right here, so you just turn it. Yeah, right? Left and right, and forward and back. Okay. Can I try it a little bit? Yeah, you have to fly controls, follow the tracks. Okay. Got to stay at right. about 400 feet or so. Okay. Got that. Yeah, just look far away. Yeah. I'm just Speed coming back over the track. The uh, you don't have to follow them perfectly. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to. <laughs> so now we're at 90, so it's about 80 to 90. Yeah, it depends on, you know. And I feel a little bit of a wind from the. Usually uh, helicopter spot. pilots fly it a little bit faster because they're better at getting the drag down. Yeah, I can sort of feel it right about there. Yeah, and you're going to be. a little sweet spot. Exactly. Right, coming out. So, yeah, exactly so I'm right. I'm able to get a little bit more and still maintain my altitude. Yeah. Exactly. I can feel it just a little bit. Yeah, I can feel that. That's interesting. Sort of feel, and of course this is my first flight one, but I sort of feel a, a sweet spot as I just get it set. And I've lost a little bit of altitude, so I need to get back up a little yeah. bit. We got one ahead of us here. Let me get out of that. Can you see somebody out there on the cap? The yeah, he's, not, he's, he's just outside out here, so he's far enough away not to be a big problem. Okay, so now we're back up to... So if you, as you're flying along, you don't really move the power level much, do you? Just nah, fly all this. And there's no... Can you sort of set that? There's no collective pitch to worry about. Oh, the view's beautiful. That's really nice. See the lake. So once you set it, you've got it nailed down in here. Yeah, you don't have to set anything. You just get it started. Once you get the RPM. So right now we're at 5120 RPMs, rotor. Main ro the uh, yeah, 430 right 430. there. 
and we're burning 34.9 and like you said about uh, five, a little bit over five gallons. Yeah. yeah, it's quite interesting. Kind of fun, right? Yeah, it's pretty stable. Yeah, it's actually very stable compared to most rotor craft. And, uh, you know, not quite as stable as a stable airplane, but it's also, it's more, a lot more maneuverable. So have you also fly regular rotor, uh, rotor craft? I clone a little bit in helicopters and uh, quite a bit in airplanes. But mostly gyroplanes in the last you know, 15 years. This this model or which ones have you flown? Oh, but tons of them. This is my favorite though. The Cavalon and this yeah, one? It's this is pretty it's nice. very comfy. Yeah, especially if you want to be able to... As much as I like being out in the wind a little bit, I get tired of that after a while. You can take the doors off. Yeah, but you can put them on. That's a nice thing, right? Yeah, especially if you're in a you climate that it doesn't... You know, I you don't want the doors off today, uh, right? The air cam's great, but sometimes you, you always in the way for right? It. Exactly. But sometimes you want the canopy on it. Yeah. Eight four both short. All right, I have the controls. Your controls, sir. So you can turn pretty quickly because it's a rotocraft. Okay. It doesn't feel like a hard turn. No. Well, 45 degree bank, that's easy. I like those. Yeah, you're a little I bit do those more than airplane. We're going, you know, a bit more than 45. Yeah. <laughs> nice and stable. So use the yaw string just like we when we fly the sailboat. Yeah, so now here's the thing. Plane. My feet are off the pedals, right? I, I never touch them. And I'm going to turn left. Okay. How much does wow, it... Wow, not much. It doesn't deviate our It really needs long. almost no rudder control. I'm going to turn the other way. You know, pretty hard turn, right? Yeah. Doesn't care. Because unlike the fixed-wing airplane, it's... Or the gliders. Yeah, right. so in an airplane, you're making more lift on one side than the other. The rotor craft, the rotor disc is always making the same amount, equalized lift across the rotor disc. So you don't get that adverse it's yaw metric. when you make a turn. That so makes it a lot easier. Big huge tower over here on our right. So do you get the helicopter database on your uh, G3X? Yeah, you can. That is a higher resolution for the... Yeah, exactly. For the, all the wires. So here we go, we're going to turn around. All right. Oh, we didn't want to go this way, we wanted to go the other way, right? Okay, yep. Whee! Wow. Yeah, you don't feel anything, do you? No, I saw you anticipating it being yeah, a little well, bit harder like, than okay, that. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, right? No. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a crazy ride. Yeah. You can also do a nice flat turn. So we can just bring the nose up, slow it down below 40, put a little bit more rudder in, keep ourselves level with the stick. Whee. As we slow down, here we go. Slow down. Kind of fun, right? So the rotor RPM actually increased. Oh, with more load you have, the faster it goes. Oh, oh I see. Short of Are you on my frequency? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's all about load. That's why it went go higher. Yeah. So the, more weight, the heavier you load it, the faster it goes, or, you know, there's a few things you can do to make it have more load. So as you load it up, like what you did, that steep, that steep turn, right? You yeah, it the makes, plane, it, makes it spin up load. faster. Lowing over the four wing start to descend. That's right. And it's doing that all automatically, just by, yeah, just by exactly. the aerodynamics, the airflow over the rotor. Yep, the aerodynamics of the rotor. Where when you first start it, when you put it in there and you added power, by the, and you push to that button, that activates it to pre-spin up the Yeah, and then rotor. after our, we, uh, we're moving, when as soon as I start moving, I let go of the button. And it's, after that, it's only driven by lift. And then if you do want to adjust roll trim, then you just do it as well with yeah, this, right? Here. right? That's all it is. Now it's pushing slight pressure to the right, so what's going to happen? It's going to turn. By lowering on the base, to land on it's going to keep accelerating that turn because it's got pressure the whole time. Oh, right, yeah. So that's why that increases in there. Well, yes, yeah, as you make a turn, it's going to increase that. Sure. So then I'm going to take that trim back out. But I don't want, I don't fly with the trim. I fly with the stick. So what I want is a neutrally trimmed aircraft. One that's not going to speed up, not going to slow down, it's not going to turn left, it's not going to turn right. That way I get to do it. If I want it to turn, I push it, and then I let go. Now I'm not putting any more pressure in, so it stays at the same rate of turn. Correct. 
So there's trim for that. And I wanted to go back, I pushed the other way. And then when you're trimming, you're also trimming for pitch as well, right? When you do this? Or is yeah. you do the I can trim both. Forward? Either yeah. one. Right. Yeah. So either way. I guess it's a nice, Relatively cool air. Quiet. Relatively quiet. Relatively yeah. quiet, yeah. I mean, with the Bose 820, it might be a little quieter, but this is Yeah, for sure. The Bose are really nice. Noise canceling. Very cool. Where are you based? I'm from California, Bay Area. Are you? Oh, up at Petaluma? Yeah, we live down in San Diego, Montgomery, Tigre. Yeah. So that's why Tigre went up earlier. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of splitting time right now between uh, the St. George area in Utah and Petaluma. And my house is in Petaluma, but we have to we have a Rotax uh, parts and engine business that is in uh, the St. George area that we're taking care of. Um, my partner Mark and I. So, uh, so you, um, you're based at the St. George Airport? Or yeah, we're building a nice big airport, or a nice big hangar in the airport. airport. I like it. Yeah, and what we have right now, we have a smaller air, uh, hangar at the Hurricane Airport while we're building our other one. It's okay. It's a nice little airport. It's a little bit small. Can't take big aircraft in it, but it, it's, it's kind of fun to fly at that airport because it's got great uh, scenery just like everywhere. So once you set this up, just like it was regular. That's easy, airplane, right? Right. You set the prop, right? You get the prop at around Yeah, set the prop, the set the power, set the trims to where you want it. And it basically flies itself. You're just directing it. Do you want the base runway or the low runway? So in here, right, so I see an oil pressure, oil temperature. Yep, fuel. It says, oh, you've got five gallons left. left five there. gallons is just a little under an hour. <laughs> And then where is our fuel flow? I'm missing that somewhere. Oh, on the other thing. Oh, 6.4. Right. Okay. And like Mark was saying that you can use under low lead or you can use unleaded 93 octane and above. Yeah, 92 is with 36 left for the land on the yellow dot. That's what the specification is. Usually. So what's the significance of the green arc and the yellow arc? I know, I, I know the red is never <laughs> easy. So this is for smooth air, apparently. Okay. But it's up to the pilot to determine when it's smooth air, right? I figure this is smooth air to me. It feels pretty smooth. Yeah, it is. All you feel is that vibration. Yeah, I feel the rotor. And you feel a little ups and downs, but it's not that big a deal. That's pretty smooth. I got a little heat in my seat. I feel that, too. <laughs> Heated seat. That's pretty amazing. Nice ventilation system through those vents. Yeah, not too bad. And they, they, they actually have an optional wire lighter. that you can put up here. It blows right on the back of your neck. Feels really good. Another little window, just yeah. like that one. Yeah. Optional. Nice view. I was different. wondering about these posts, whether they would block your view much, and they do some. But you have such an expansive view here. Yeah, you don't really notice. No. It, it takes you about an hour of flight, and pretty much they disappear. And this is just for your sunshade? Yep, so you can pull that down if you want. <laughs> like if you're, if you're flying into the sun. Yeah, how nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And let's see, did we switch that back? Not yet. There so we go. Now we're going up on. All right, I see the, the rotorcraft in there. And rotorcraft power gyro plane, 113 Lima Romeo, coming in at the corner looking for traffic. I got uh, one aircraft flying up to the oak tree. Have you pulled the air cam? We're doing a short pattern. Uh, a little bit, I have you. Okay, gyro's slowing down for the second uh, helicopter coming out from the pattern. I see those guys there at about 1 o'clock. I want to straight ahead. Yeah, and I see one over there in the right hand. You slow. See him there? Yeah. Roger that. Yellow gyro, can you let me sneak in here, or are you going to, that's fine, I'll go after you. Uh, yellow gyro is following free. Yeah, I just have to, oh goodness, I'm going to make a hundred, I'm going to re-enter. Okay. 
Well, they couldn't get in between five aircraft, so we're going back out, coming back in. Okay, I'm going to sequence between the, uh, behind the white gyro. Five that. Freedom's at the oak tree. So I see the yellow. And the field's open. Right there. See him. At one o'clock. Yellow tower inside the uh, oak tree. Roger that. Three Lima Romeo oak tree behind the yellow gyro. Full stop. And a full stop, Jero. Guys are all doing a great job up there. Sooner red, oak tree, full stop. And a full stop, sooner red. Mosquito, you can follow that uh, gyro down if you like. It is kind of an annoyance, isn't it? Fascinating. Hello, and Can I open my door? Yes, sir. Air conditioning on. Copy that, play area. This is Light Blue 44. We are in the LZ uh, looking for pickup. Light Blue 44, you are clear to the park. Very impressive. Uh, yep, oh, thank you. It's fun. I enjoy doing it. Proof of fire ready to hover. I'll yeah, get a little, a little bit of a quartering tail yeah, wind. Yeah, you're good. I saw that tail wind. Orange mosquito, you're clear to take the active in the park. So L changes every 50 hours? Yeah, yeah if you're burning that, yeah. 100 hours if you're burning the mo, yeah. Which, which fuel do you like to burn the best? To show up in order well, to be right depends on how often you're going to burn it. That, if you're you. burning it every day, oil gas is awesome. It gets you 6% more horsepower. If you're burning it every week or every yeah, other week or something hold. like that, then I'd burn nav gas. Just solid, right? Yeah. Unless you're going to fly to do the mo gas all the time. Yeah, because you don't trust the mo gas. Oh, you mean mixing it with it? It's just, it degrades really fast. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't have the stabilizers and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I yeah. just don't do it. And it, it, it gums up everything, it's not that fun. So now, what, what, you're just letting everything cool down? Yeah, I give it just a little bit of time to cool down, and then I'm going to shut it down. Yeah, blue safari, you could take the active in the park. Target. 